Good morning children. This video is for anyone working in the Pharaoh group. Today we are going to be recognising cube numbers and the notation for the cubed, so the small three. Um, but before we do that, please do your fluent in five for starter. And here are your answers. So today's learning children, as I said, we're going to be looking at cube numbers. What I mean by the notation of cube is this small three here. Whenever we see this, that means we must multiply the number by itself and then by itself again. Now, hopefully you've kept your workings out from yesterday to identify the, what is the answer for every cube number up to 12. So this will, show, this will help for today's learning. That says here, circle the odd one out. So we've got, we've got three uh, calculations, 11 cubed plus 210, nine cubed take away 384, six cubed plus 129. It says explain your reasoning. So first we're gonna work this out. Now 11 cubed is 100, 1,000, 331. We're going to add 210 to it. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 1 plus nothing equals 1. So this answer is 1541. We'll work out what this one is. 9 cubed, 729. And as you can see, Mr. Taylor's knowledge of his cube numbers is really good. Yes, he's a teacher, but he's taught himself to remember the cube numbers. He doesn't have the answers here because he's managed to recall it and memorize the answers. 729 take away 384. Nine take away four equals five. Two take away eight, we cannot do. So we exchange 12 take away eight equals four. Six take away three equals three. 6 cubed plus 129, so we're going to work this out now. So 6 cubed, as I said, Mr. Taylor's knowledge is really good. 216, add 129. 6 plus 9 equals 15. 1 plus 2 equals 3, plus another 1 equals 4. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So we've got our... Three answers, 1,541, 345, 345, which was the odd one out, circle it. Well, it's pretty clear that this one is the odd one out. Explain your reason and write a short sentence. 11 cubed plus 210 equals 1,541, whereas the other two questions equal 345. Very simple. Second question. Kaylee says the number 733 is a cube number. Is she correct? Prove it. Now, to do this, you can use your answers on that extra sheet that you've got to prove it. And the best way of proving it is proving, finding a cube number. If it is a cube number, write it down. If it isn't, find the cube number that's the nearest cube number that is below it and the next cube number after it. So for example, nine cubed equals 729, 10 cubed equals 1000. 733 is between these two numbers. And as you can see, there's not a number in between nine or 10 that we cube. So is she correct? No. And we've proved it by showing that there. And here we are, the last one. This is, these really, I really enjoy these sort of questions because they, they make you sort of think about outside the box and really understand the question. Solve the word problem below. I am thinking of a number. If I cube my number, then take away 169, I get another cube number. What number am I thinking of? Now, the first thing we want to do, children, is we need to find 
So it's asking us to, that's a number, we cube it, we then take 169 away from it, and then we get another, we get another cube number. So an answer of a cube number. So for example, 64, because 64 is eight cubed. So this must be a cubed number. But we need to make sure that whatever we cube has to be greater than 169. So I couldn't do four cubed here because four cubed is 64. Well, I can't do 64 take away 169. Five cubed is 125. So I can't do that. Six cubed is 216. So I can do that. So I'm going to use six cubed now, which is 216 take away 169. Now, if our answer is a cube number, we've got it right. So let's see. Six take away nine cannot do. Sixteen take away nine is seven. Zero take away six we cannot do. Ten take away six is four. One take away one is zero. Forty-seven is not a cube number. There is no number that when you multiply it by itself and itself again will give you the answer of forty-seven. So it can't be six. We could try seven cubed now. So seven cubed, 343. Take away 169. So this is to see if seven cubed, seven is that missing number. Three take away nine, we cannot do. 13 take away nine is four. Three take away six, we cannot do. 13 take away six is seven. Two take away one is 174. If you look at your answers on your sheet that you've got, you can tell me, you'll be able to tell me that 174 is not a cubed number. So this cannot be seven. Let's try eight cubed. Now, as you can see, children, eight cubed is 512. What I've done so far, I've done two calculations and they're both incorrect. Doesn't mean I've got the wrong answer yet. We're doing trial and error. Now, you've got to keep persistent with this to hopefully get yourself um, till you get the right answer. Don't just give up after the first one, keep trying. And that's why I really like these sort of questions because the answer is not straight away there. You've got to take your time and really think about it. Two take away nine cannot do. 12 take away nine equals three. Cannot do zero take away six. 10 take away six is four. Four take away one is three. So our answer here is 343 is that a cube number? Yes, it is. Because 344, uh, 343 is seven cubed. So we know our missing number because this is our starting number. So eight cubed, eight cubed, take away 169 equals seven cubed. So our starting number was eight. That's the end of your input today, children. So please now go to your task sheets and answer the questions. Best of luck.